You have a univariate normal distribution, a random variable x with the typical bell shape that is given by the mu and the standard deviation sigma. Now someone introduced the precision tau. Welcome to this video where we will look at what the precision means for the normal distribution. For this let us note down all the possible definitions of the normal. So the first definition is the normal over the random variable x under given mu for the mean and sigma for the standard deviation. And then we have to form 1 over sigma times square root of 2 pi times the exponential of minus 1 over 2 sigma squared in brackets x minus mu squared and closing brackets for the exponential. The other definition is by the normal over x with given mu and sigma squared for the variance. And then we have 1 over the square root of sigma squared times 2 pi times the exponential of minus 1 over 2 sigma squared then in brackets x minus mu squared. So here we have the standard deviation and that is the variance. The first version is what you typically see in TensorFlow probability and the second version is commonly used in textbooks. Now let us introduce another parameterization of the normal distribution by the help of the precision and the precision will be a replacement for the variance and we will define it as the normal over x with given mu so our mean stays the same and with a tau inverse and it is given as the square root of tau over 2 pi times the exponential of minus tau over 2 times x minus mu in bracket squared, closing brackets for the exponential. And then we directly see the relation between the variance and the precision, that the precision is just the inverse of the variance. So tau will be defined as one over sigma squared. And then it also makes sense that we define the normal with tau inverse in order to mimic the scheme that we have for the variance. So it is the inverse of the variance. And surely if it is the inverse, then it adheres to all the properties that the standard deviation and the variance also have to fulfill, which is that all of them, so sigma, sigma squared and tau have to be greater than zero. And you can ask yourself, why do we do this? And the reason is that it simplifies certain Bayesian analyses. So it simplifies Bayesian analyses. And by this, I mean, for instance, if we want to calculate posteriors or if we want to do other manipulations, because then the sigma does not appear in the denominator anymore and it is in the numerator. So because tau is in the numerator. Then let's look at some plots. I have three different Gaussians here and we have the x-axis for the random variable and the y-axis for the probability density function associated with each of the random variables. And the three Gaussian shapes only differ in their standard deviation variance and precision. For the first, we have a really narrow Gaussian with a standard deviation of 0.5 Consequentially, the variance is 0.25 and the precision is the inverse of the variance. So it is four since the variance is one over four. Then we have the standard normal with a standard deviation of one, a variance of one and also a precision of one. And then lastly, we have a wider normal with a standard deviation of two an variance of four and the precision of 0 0.25 or one over four. And we see the higher the standard deviation or variance, the wider the normal. So high standard deviation or variance means a wider normal. And we see the higher the precision, the narrower the normal is. So a high precision tau means a narrow normal and this makes sense because precision is associated with how close we are to the mean and the mean for all the three distributions is the same it is at five we also see that the precision and consequently also the standard deviation and variance does not affect the mode or mean of the distribution sigma sigma squared and tau do not affect the mode and in the case of the gaussian the mode is also the mean. This is the end of the video for the precision of the normal or Gaussian distribution. If you enjoyed it, I would really appreciate you liking and subscribing. There is more awesome content on the precision coming soon. Here you will now find similar videos and I hope to see you next time.